everyone, this is Roberta Shear from koshereye.com in my Atlanta kitchen. Today I'm welcoming two very special cooking assistants. I have my granddaughter, Sarah Shear. She's from Silver Spring, Maryland, and she's 13. And I have her very dear friend, Vega Bracco Winter. She's also from Silver Spring, Maryland, and also 13. And they're cooking with me today. I just want to tell you the history of this recipe. I made this delicious hot fudge ice cream sauce. I made this hot fudge ice cream sauce recipe um, for a party at Sarah's Bat Mitzvah last year. And Peggy Bracca tasted it and she loved it and she wanted the recipe. So I decided we would share it with everyone. So let's go girls. First of all, all you'll need to do this very simple is a good spatula. I use a GIR spatula and I've had it for years and it's still in new condition and a small saucepan. And go ahead, we're going to add our ingredients. We're turning on the flame. A medium flame is good. And now we'll add the sugar. We have one cup of granulated sugar. We have some vanilla, that's one teaspoon, but you can use more or less. I don't even measure vanilla, I love it so much. And now we have cocoa. There are some great cocos on the market now, but I always go back to Hershey's because it's par and tastes yummy to me. And then you put in some heavy cream and we put in about half of this, that's one cup of cream and we're putting in about half, a little more Sarah. And we're stir, stir, stirring stir. now for about two minutes. And Fago, will you show the camera what we have so far? Okay, and now we're gonna add the rest of our cream. I never said this was a, a low calorie recipe. I just said it was a delicious recipe. And now we're gonna add some butter. Now you can make this par and use some sort of butter substitute and some sort of par creamer, or you can make it luscious and dairy, which I much prefer. So figueracha is mixing until the sugar dissolves, and okay. I think it's almost it's ready. It's ready for the butter. We're gonna add the butter. The butter, it's about four ounces of butter, but you can add a little more or less. This recipe does not have to be exact. And now when the butter melts and the hot fudge is hot, we are going to show you the best part of the whole recipe, which would be the tasting, of course. And now our fudge has reached the con smooth consistency that we were looking for. So we will pour it straight on our ice cream. And here we go. Oh, a little bit on the counter too, but that's okay. And now who wants to be the taster? Enjoy and tell me if it tastes as good as you remember. Is it nice and warm and fudgy? Yeah, it's really good. Well, I hope you enjoyed this recipe that's so simple to make, and you can find it on koshereye.com. Thank you girls so much for cooking with me today. It was a sweet episode. <laughs>